So I got to meet got to meet Jenna's boyfriend this weekend. You el, did, I el know. Jefe fabuloso. El jefe fabuloso. So give us the whole scoop, dog. Um, Jenna and my wife Kinsey planned a double date. <laughs> we went to a great spot and got us a great spot to watch the game. And Jenna said, "Hey, uh, I told him that you're a football fan, and so he reserved a spot." At his favorite bar, yeah. right in front of the best TV. Oh, mm-hmm. for you, Very for me. Cool. Yeah. What was your first impression, JC? Aside from the uh, seat reserve that he had for you. Honestly, I was really comfortable with him right away. Okay. Because I don't know what it is. How I feel. It's it's, it's weird. He, Maybe he has something. He reminds me of, and I don't know if it was not obviously not the same for Jenna, but he just reminds me of my family back in Mexico. Yeah. Okay. Just the way he looks, the way he talks. You say he looks like your cousin or something? He looks like my cousin, uh, Enrique. Yeah, he looks just like my cousin. So mm-hmm. I felt really at home as soon as we started talking. And just he started speaking in Spanish. Yeah, it was great because I'd, I'd see if they were talking. And JC is pretty focused on the game, which was fine and expected. But sometimes they were speaking in Spanish, sometimes in English. I'm like, okay, so they're talking about things. Yeah. And then he told me about their vacation when you guys were in Mexico and how his family liked them a lot. Mm-hmm. And he kept speaking of Jenna and I could see the little... You just see the little twinkle in the eye when, when a guy likes a girl a lot. Yeah. And it was cool to see Jenna, because eventually they did end up sitting next to each other and just <laughs> the boyfriend-girlfriend chemistry going on. And Big Al, he's kind of like you, because at this place we went to, I think he's a regular. Oh, okay. He's the guy that, he was the most popular guy there. Okay. Yeah, everybody knew okay. him. Everybody was, oh, hey, what's up, man? Hey, yeah, right. Everybody came up. As soon as they walked in the door, it was straight to him. Hey, what's up? And then. Yeah, I think he hangs out there a lot. He'd yeah. always introdu- he introduced Jenna each time. Okay. Different story for each person. One lady asked, how'd you guys meet? And the and he goes, I just looked at her. I- <laughs> Go on. <clears throat> yeah, get your, get your Mexican right. accent. Yeah. He goes, I just look at her. <laughs> and it was a little bit for a sight. Love it for sight. Antonio like, 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 oh, right here. Wow. I'm like, yeah. No, he says this is the one that stole my heart. That's what he's. Oh, doing. that was another one. That was a good one too. There's for something sure. for me that I used to wait a long time introducing a guy, you know, to anyone I was with because I just wasn't sure how he would be. Yeah. But now I'm kind of like it's efficient. I like uh-huh. to see how he interacts with friends. Yeah, and, yeah. And he met your parents and, how, and stuff too. And how my friends feel and everyone I've introduced him to. How'd mom him. Candy? How'd she? Uh, how'd she like the She's boy? Like, he's so nice. Of course, I love him. <laughs> Candy likes everybody though. And yeah. uh, how about pops? So my dad actually converse with us for quite a while but you know my dad asked a lot of questions so what do you do how long have you been here you know boom boom mm-hmm. <laughs> like that but it's cool yeah because it's nice to see you know keep him on his toes a little bit now we got to get kelly and al to meet him yeah that's yeah. the next step right there i don't think i've met her last boyfriend until he broke up <laughs> <laughs> aren't we glad that's all over